Hey guys, it's Sooty here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm back with some more My Little Pony Generation 5 toys. I uploaded a video recently of me reviewing some of the brushable ponies that I found. And then the other day I found these really cool crystal adventure ones. I was really hoping we would get these ones because I absolutely love the sculpted hair. And they have posable arms and legs as well. So I'm really happy we got these. I do believe that there is an Izzy and a Hitch one from the series, but the store I got them from only had these three. So hopefully we'll get the rest soon, because I really want to get those two as well. But I did find a zip, so I'm really happy about that because uh, I don't have a zip toy yet. So if you guys live in New Zealand like I do, you can find these at Toy World. They are $19.99 each. And these ones look really cool. They seem to be coming out with a lot of um, non-brushable ones with, with like the molded hair and all that, which I actually really like. I do understand that the brushable ones are like iconic, you know, it's what they've always done. But I think the molded ones look really good and a lot more show accurate. So I'm really excited about these. And these ones also come with these big like crystal things and like they're full of all these different accessories so that's really interesting it looks like sunny here comes with some roller skates so yeah the packaging's really cute they all have pictures of their um little ponies on the side so yeah let's open these up and have a good look at them i don't know why i've not found any hitch much yet he's probably going to be like the applejack of the series i'm already seeing that <laughs> oh my god Oh my god, we get a poster! Yes! This is so cute! Look at this cute poster we got! I didn't know it came with a poster. That is so cute. We have no hitch on it too. <laughs> oh, poor hitch. He's definitely gonna be the Applejack. Oh, we can see the Izzy one here too. Doesn't she look so cute? I really hope I can find her. But this one still doesn't show the hitch one. I'm pretty sure there is a hitch one, but they just don't show it. Oh my gosh, this figure looks so cute. I really love the molded hair. It's just a lot easier to deal with because it will always look so accurate, which I like. The only thing is she can't move her head this way as well because of her hair, but she still does have a good amount of head movement. It's still on a ball joint like the brushable um, figures were. It just can't move on the side of her hair as well. And also her tail can move. <laughs> oh yeah, so the brush roll is slightly bigger. Not by much. Oh, they're so cute together. So these ones also have posable arms and legs, which is so cool. It's something we didn't see a lot in uh, Generation 4, so I'm glad they're doing more of these in Generation 5, because these are really cool. I think they only really had this kind of posability in the Guardians of Harmony. Um, figures which didn't really come to New Zealand, which is a shame because those ones look really cool. But yeah, look how posable she is. She's so cool. And she comes with these roller skates. Let's put these on her. Now the roller skates don't have actual wheels on them, but I didn't really expect that. <laughs> For some reason a lot of them have these little blue paints, like scratches on them. Not sure why that is. But yeah, we can pretend she's rolling. Shoo! And then she also comes with her little bag, and it has Twilight Sparkle's cutie mark on it. That's interesting. And then she comes with this thing. Little tiara thing. I don't really understand it, but I can put that on her head. I really love the look of her molded mane and tail. It looks kind of slightly like see-through. It's a cool effect, and I think they really did a good job at that. It looks really good. So then she comes with this little crystal thing, which... I guess, oh yeah, we just open it like that. <gasps> it's got stickers! Yes! Oh, it's got our cutie mark! That's cool. We've got our bracelet, it's got like wings on it. That's cool! This is definitely not gonna fit me like at all. <laughs> Which is a shame, it's cute. Um, <gasps> yes, we got little stickers! Oh, these are so cute! So we can put this like on our bag or roller skates if we wanted to, or on the actual pony. Oh my god, these are so cute! We got some more of our cutie mark and stuff. We got some more crystals and stuff. And also, it has the little badges that she has on her bag. Let me show you. So you see in this picture, you can see that she has little badges on her bag of Twilight, Fluttershy, and Rainbow Dash. And we have them as stickers, so we can put them on her bag. That is so cute. I love that. And then she comes with all these little charms, which kind of remind me of the cutie mark magic line. And I think we can put them on her crown if we want. <laughs> Okay, maybe not. Okay, no. I don't think it fits in there. I don't really know what the crown is for. I guess we'll find out in the in the show. But I don't think any of these 
fit on there. I thought maybe they did, but I think these are all just for the bracelet. So let's see if this fits on me. Oh wait, I think it actually does. <gasps> wait, I need someone to help me with this. I did it, it fits. <laughs> it does feel like it would pop off quite easily though. Ta da The charms are a little bit hard to get on, but you get the idea. It's pretty cute. Sorry, Sunny. All right, so next let's do Princess Petals, AKA Pip. Here is Pip or Princess Petals out of the box. She is really, really pretty and look at her cool wings. They are on ball joints too, so they are quite poseable, which I love. Oh, she's so cute. I really love her hairstyle. These toys are really cute. And she comes with like a dress and stuff, so Let's put that on her. So here she's with her dress on. Her dress looks really cool. It does make it hard to move the wings though. You can't really move them with the dress on. Um, but it is really pretty. It does make her look like royalty, doesn't it? And then she has these little things on her hooves, which are cool. She comes with this little kind of tiara thing. Ooh, look at her. She looks fancy. And open her crystal does come with the same bracelet that I already have on so you guys know the drill oh we get a little cutie mark that's cool and she's got a bunch of different charms and stickers some of them are the same stickers some of them are different I like the ones of their faces <laughs> they're really cute and next we got our girl zip I think she's gonna be a really cool character I'm looking forward to seeing more of her. I love her wings, it looks so cool. And she comes with a skateboard, how cool is that? Okay, here is Zip Storm. She looks really cool. I also love that we finally got one of the main ponies with short hair. I really love her wings. I like how the Pegasus seem to have different types of wings that kind of match them, you know? Oh, you can move these in all kinds of ways. Wait, that is really cool. I love that. I wish they did this with the old ones. She's so cool looking. And she comes with a skateboard and it does have proper wheels that move, so that's nice. And she comes with shoes that have holes at the bottom so she can still ride the skateboard. They all have holes at the bottom of their feet, just like the brushables do. Well, not their feet, their hooves, but you know. I wonder if she wears shoes in the movie. <laughs> I doubt she does, but I mean, Sunny wears roller skates, so who knows. And she comes with some cool sunglasses. So I'm pretty sure Zip is also a princess, so... Are Zip and Pip related? I think they might be. I can't remember if that was confirmed or not. I think the Zip one might be my favorite. I just think she looks really cool and I really love her wings. But all of these figures are really cool. I really like them. And let's open her crystal even though it's basically the same stuff. But we get her cutie mark. Oh, their cutie marks are similar as well. They both have crowns on them. I didn't realize that. Yeah, we got the bracelet thing again. Oh, this one's blue though. I do want to put some of these stickers on our skateboard because the skateboard is a bit plain. We've got all kinds of cool stickers. I like this one of her. She's so cute. I wonder if these are like the new elements of harmony or something. Let's add some stickers to our skateboard. There we go, look at that. Oh, I just realized something. She came with a lot of these green gems. I wonder if maybe they're supposed to go like in her shoes with a gem indents are and maybe some of them on her crown and stuff too maybe the green does match her eyes very well is this like an earring or something i just found it oh my god i think it is that's cool okay i just realized something i took off all their shoes and stuff and I just realized how small Pip is compared to them. Look how tiny she is. And she's got like little tiny ears. She's so cute. Oh my god. That is so cute that they did that. Oh my gosh. I love that. It's so adorable. Anyways guys, I'm going to end the video here. I really love these figures. I hope I can find the rest of them. I think they're really cool and detailed and they're a lot of fun. So let me know what you guys think about these new G5 toys. Let me know what else you like to see me review on my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!